evening. It is evening now. So good evening, everybody. Once again, you're here with another edition of The Vault. I am here with my co-host, Mr. Dennis Holmes. How are we doing today, brother? I'm doing pretty good, baby. Ain't gonna think of podcast in the building, baby. How's everybody doing out there? And as usual, I got we got our special guest, Mr. Raiders fan over there, Mr. California. Um, how we doing today, Donovan? How we doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. Thank you for having me back on. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Let's course. get ready. Let's get let's get ready to rumble right now. Let's get ready to rumble. So always, I hope you're always ready. Hope you're always ready. Um Two announcements real quick. Well, one announcement. Throughout the show, we will have um, a giveaway, two giveaways, so be looking. Um, we will let you know when it's about to come up. Um, the giveaway, once again, is $10. I'll cash up you on the spot, $10 if you get the answer right. So the first person who answers the question right will get $10 to cash up. The prize will go up each week, but this week we're just going to start off with $10. With that being said, though, let's go ahead and get it going. Let's get it Let's get it popping. Let's get it started. We always got a full slate for you guys. So. One second. There we go. All right. So we're going to start it off with this right here. What is the clutchest shot made in the playoffs from the past decade? The most clutchest shot in the past decade made. I'm going to go with you first, Donovan. What you got? Uh, man, I got to go. I got to go with Kyrie, man. Got to go with Kyrie over um, – our stuff. You, got to, you, got yeah. to, you got to make that drawn public. You got it all uh, just friends of friends. Oh, my bad. My bad. Let me let me, let me get you together. You think Kyrie's shot was clutch? I got you. I'll put it on there as public. Yeah, I mean, Ky- Kyrie pretty much sealed a championship in a game seven. So uh, definitely got to go with Kyrie uh, 2016 over uh, – it, well, I don't know if it was over Steph, but – I mean, it was it was over it was over stuff. We can we can it, say it was it was over stuff. And uh, and to be honest, man, I honestly thought he should have really got the Finals MVP. But no, you know, no, no, now you're going too far, buddy. You're going too far. But you know, I mean, if it wasn't for that shot, LeBron does. I don't think LeBron wins. If it wasn't He's, for uh, that, if it wasn't for that block to play before though, they would have been down by what four or five. Yeah, but but I, the shot pretty much clinched it. The and, shot, uh, it, but the block, the block gave him a chance for the shot. Absolutely, correct? but at the end of the day, you still gotta make the shot, right? So okay, uh, buddy. But once I, again, I would, I, I would put uh, Kyrie Irving shot uh, probably the most clutch shot I've seen, especially the magnitude of the series, the fact that they came down from three one. You gotta go with Kyrie, uh, and, and that's that's my final answer. That's a good let's one. see. Let's we'll see if we got the same done. answer. Mine's is heartbreaking. It's Kawhi Leonard's triple point. <laughs> um, My I have to say that that, that got to be the luckiest shot in Toronto's history. I'm going to have to say that. The best shot, sir. The best shot. And it was sad. Might have might have destroyed our dynasty. Might have. Di- what dynasty? What dynasty? dynasty? It was going to grow, man. From there, what from there, dynasty? It was just going to grow, man. Yeah, I you said mean- it. The dynasty, but the dynasty okay. might have grew from there. All right, mine's the obvious one. I'm sorry. Um, Ray Allen, are we, are we playing Ray Allen against the Spurs? Like, they lose, they miss the shot, they lose, they go home, series is over. LeBron ends <laughs> up with a two and seven record in the finals. Like, it, it's it's so much magnitude in that shot. It's so much magnitude in that shot. They lose, LeBron goes home with a two and seven. Well, he'll be two and seven in the finals right now. You know, it'd be two and seven in the finals right now. Then you have to add in the fact that the Spurs, Kawhi would have had three rings, so we would have had more rings than LeBron if he made that shot. And we would have been possibly saying that Kawhi is a better player all time. Than, I mean, you know, people people will say that. I wouldn't, but Kawhi is a better player than LeBron James ever. Um, you have all that talk. Ray Allen sealed that shot right there, got him to overtime. They won that game, and they finished to go into the next – I mean, to the fourth game where they just balled out completely. That shot saved the series. It saved possibly LeBron's legacy. It possibly saved D-Wade's legacy a little. Like, it it helped. It helped out a lot. It solidified a lot of things. That shot is the coded shot. And to count on to that, the fact that that shot right there, literally, Danny Green was draped over that man. Draped. Like, completely draped over him. Hand in his face. Dre Allen got the – I mean, Ray Allen was just 
it was a magnificent shot. Magnificent. I, I, I'm going with that one with ease. Uh, let me have a rebuttal to that. So I think uh, – what, what would you argue um, LeBron James' most uh, significant championship was, right? When he was it's, like, a, it's, it's definitely Cleveland. It's definitely yeah. Cleveland. So I'm not, I'm not denying that. So, I, I, I mean, you're a Braun fan, so uh, – I'm not a Braun fan. You I'm are a Braun sexual. You are a Braun no, sexual. No, 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 no. If you know anything about me is that I am not a fan of LeBron. But what I don't stand is when people talk about him in a bad way. I, I don't stand that. When people just try to dog on that man, like, to a extent that they, this man isn't great. So I, mean, I, I, I don't have I don't have any problems with him as of right now. Um, I bet but, you don't. You're another <laughs> brown sexual. <laughs> as of right now, I have no problem with him. When he leaves the Lakers, though, you're going to have a problem with him. Go ahead and say it. Uh, I don't think – I think he'll finish with the Lakers, but – you know that's a, another topic of conversation. So. Until he want to, until he comes to my heat with um the with with, with, um, with Giannis, you know he's just waiting. Don't worry. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, you liked that picture I sent you. You like that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I do get what you're saying, though. I understand. So I do get what you're saying to the point where yeah, that that finals definitely was his his most important finals. But a two and seven record, a two and eight, even two and eight right now. I mean, all right, three and seven, right? I mean, yeah, is he three? Yeah, he's three and seven right now. Two and eight, that just makes it even worse. I but, think he's three and six, right? Is it three and six? Or three and seven? He's, he's, won, he's won nine times, right? And he, I thought he won ten. Is it nine? It might be nine. You're right. It might be nine. Yeah, I know. He'll, he'll, if, if they're able to play this year, he'll get his fourth. He'll be no, he four won't. Out of, he'll be no, four. He Come on, bro. No, he won't. We're going to our next topic, dog, for that one. <laughs> Ranking every number one pick in a lot. I mean, NBA draft pick since 2000. We are ranking everyone. This is from NBA, um, NBA.com. Well, Bleacher Report. I'm sorry, it's from Bleacher Report. So from nine, eight, and seven, they have John Wall, Derrick Rose, Car Anthony Towns. What do you guys feel about them being nine, eight, and seven? Do you guys feel like that should be a rearranged or should they be higher? They should not even be higher. Derrick Rose needs to be higher. Derrick Rose, why Derrick Rose? Let me ask you that. Derrick Rose won the MVP his second year in the league. I do think yeah, I, out of I, all of these guys, ain't ain't too many on one MVP. I agree with that. Now, what I will say is that Carfini Towns definitely needs to be nine on this list, like number nine. Okay. Like, yeah, but I think John Wall, Carfini Towns hasn't even gotten to the playoffs yet. I'm almost positive he hasn't. I mean, maybe I'm tripping, but I don't think they've been to the playoffs yet. If they did, it was one year. John Wall's been to the playoffs. He's been hurt these last two years. Don't get me wrong, but he's definitely been to the playoffs, I think, three times. Um, Derrick Rose won the MVP, took his team to the Eastern Conference Finals. He lost to LeBron and, um, and, and company, but he's still been to the Eastern Conference Finals. Carfany Towns is underachieved as a team-wise as far as such as them getting to the playoffs. He's underachieved to that point. I definitely do under – I think he should be nine, so I would change that around. I'll put Derrick Rose – I got to see the rest of the list for me to sit here and say that he should be higher, though. So let's yeah, move on. Exactly. Let me see the rest of the list. Yao Ming, the white hired Blake Griffin. Yeah, Derrick Rose should definitely be higher than Yao Ming. I will give you that. What the? Uh, the white Howard and Blake Griffin, too? What the, he should be higher than Blake Griffin, not the white. Whoa. Not the white. Why not the white? The white took his team to the finals. Um, <sighs> definitely took his team to the finals. Don't say he didn't, Neither Donovan. Don't but say he didn't, didn't win MVP. We talking about individual. He didn't win. Okay, MVP. so one, so him getting MVP one, and honestly, and truly, LeBron should have won MVP that year too. Oh my God, here we go, y'all. That's well, another man won MVP fair and square that year, y'all. Did, did he really? Did he really? He did, man. He did he really? You want to look at the stats? Did he really? Yeah, did we need to pull Donovan? Can you pull up the stats? You got your phone on you? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to go into this this that topic of conversation. However, I do feel that. I I just think the white got his team to the finals, man. I mean, at at the end at the end of the day, he got his team to the finals. All right, but let's see. You, you can sit you can sit there you can sit there and say that 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 they don't factor the postseason in the MVP. And to be honest, I quite think that, I think they do. I think the NBA does that. Low key, they do it. Why do you think they, they announced it? They can't because Yao Ming didn't even win rookie of the year. Well, the once again, that, that Yao Ming, he shouldn't be on this list. I'm be honest with you. I think he should be off the oh, list. Oh, he deserves to be on this list. Uh, he if, if anything, he's nine. Carl Anthony Towns is eight. And everybody moves up the spot. Wait, I think he's over Carl Anthony Towns. I don't he's think a he I don't Not think he's rookie of the year. I mean, 
I don't. I mean, I don't think he is. I don't. I mean, let's be honest here. What has he really accomplished? Like, what has he really accomplished in the league? Yao Ming. Yeah. What, what has Carl Anthony Towns accomplished? Mm. But he's what been is- healthy though. That's the difference. Neither okay. one of them accomplished. I, 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 I like that one. What, what has Blake Griffin accomplished? I mean, I can't tell you I, that once again he'll move down too. He's moving down on my list too. All right, come he, on. He, well, okay, so all right, we put it like this: the White Howard and and Derrick Rose should move up. I, yes. I see you doing that. All right, so let's see who's next. Kyrie, Anthony Davis, LeBron James. Nope. That stays the same. That stays no. the same for me. No, Anthony. No, no, no. 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 You just had that whole conversation. I think the White Howard should be over Anthony Davis. You just had okay, that I can agree with that. I can. Hold on, I can agree with that. If I'm if I'm going off of what I just said, he's accomplished more than him because he has. He's truly accomplished more than him right now at the moment. I can agree with that. I all mean, right. let's be honest, Donovan. All right, all right. So okay, so put so you so you put you put the white. You're gonna put the white at number two. I'm gonna put Kyrie at two. The white at three. Derrick Rose at four. D Rose at four, John Wall at five. Let me go back. You're putting John Wall over Anthony Davis. Oh, I forgot. I forgot I took. I know. My bad. My bad. I, I forgot I took off um, Anthony Davis um, Anthony and Davis put him down. Five. So he's at Anthony Davis is five. Six. I'm putting Blake Griffin. Seven. John Wall. Eight. Carl Anthony Towns. And then nine is Yao Ming. I, I mean, I, I I pretty much agree with that order. I mean, that ain't bad. I could, I could, I could live with that. I'm sorry. I might even take Yao Ming off this list. I just got to see who in the 2000s was picked. Yao Ming does not deserve to be on this list. I'm going to be honest with you. Anybody else that went number one that deserves to be over Yao Ming? Who you gonna you put sure? Mark, who you going to put Markel Fultz? <laughs> Don't be even, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you can't just throw Markel Fultz out there because that man was trash for y'all team. It's not his fault. Oh, uh, okay. You're right. Anthony Bennett. You're right. He trash too. I mean, I ain't gonna sit here and deny that. Yeah, these people that you name are definitely trash. I mean, trash, I'm not denying. Trash truck juice. You're right. I think, they, I think uh, Zion got some many. Oh, he will. He's gonna be. He he'll be higher than them. But I mean, but at, at the moment, maybe. At the moment, let me. I, I I don't know. But do we agree with that list though? Yeah. 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 I, I can agree with that one. Okay. Um. So y'all don't got no problem with Kyrie being at um three. I mean at two. Y'all wouldn't put the White Howard over Kyrie. No, no, no. The Kyrie deserves to be there. Yeah. Okay. Let, let me ask you why. I think that uh, no, you know what? I think Derrick Rose deserves to be higher than Kyrie. Whoa, that's pushing it. I feel like only reason why I said Dwight Howard and Kyrie is because Kyrie was I'm not gonna say he was trash, but he really wasn't a team player before LeBron got there. He still isn't a team player. He honestly is a cancer in every locker room too. He's been showing too. So that's I why know, I was asking. I, I, I don't really, I don't really agree with with flat earthers like Kyrie, but <laughs> I don't either. Um, I'm gonna say Ben Simmons should be over. I, I, I would you, say Ben Simmons. I would say I would say Ben Simmons deserves to be over there than Yao Ming and even Joel Embiid. No, no, Joel was not number one pick. Though I'm sorry, but Ben Simmons deserves to be over there before um Yao Ming. I mean, let, I mean, I'm be honest with you. It, like I said, I was gonna find somebody. It's Ben Simmons. That's why I was that. That's who it is. Like Yao Ming doesn't deserve to be on this list, but we can move on. Mika. <laughs> All right. As I said at the beginning of the show, we will be doing a giveaway. Here it is. Guess this player right here. Guess this player, and I will cash up you ten dollars if you have cash up. If not, I'll find a way. I'll PayPal you. But hopefully, you do have cash up. That's the easiest way. We know the answer. Hopefully one of you guys know the answer, but guess this player, I will cash up you ten dollars. Who is this player? We was talking about this, Donovan, man. He should have been way better. He's like, this guy should have been way, way better. Way better, way better. Like way better. It makes no sense how he wasn't. Well, we'll find out who gets it. Yes. Uh, ain't nobody right nothing yet. That's why I said, look, if not, I'll keep the guys, give me one second. I'll take the ten. I'll keep the ten dollars if you don't want it. Either. All right. I'm gonna put a time limit on it. If 624, I don't see no answer. Then 624, I don't see no answer. He's gonna move on. Guess this player, you get a chance. Yeah, you guess this player, you get ten dollars. Hey. 
They probably over there looking it up. That's why. Shit, I will be. Shoot, I will be. Yeah, but that, that's it. I don't think they're going to get it. I'll give it one more minute. They got one more. One more minute. One minute warning. One more minute. One minute warning to give the person, I mean, guess this player, you guess the person, you get $10. I will cash up you on the spot right now. Guess the player, you get 10 Anybody get it yet? Nope, I ain't seen nothing yet. Ain't nobody writing nothing yet. Somebody start a 30 second countdown from me. If 30 seconds hit, no one writes nothing. 28, 27, 26, 25. 24, Guess the player. Guess the player. Before the time runs out. You're on the clock. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. I can't believe 14, people are getting this. 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, five 4, four three, 3, 2, two one. 1. Okay. Happy New Year. Happy New Year's. Okay, the player was Rashard Lewis. We will have another giveaway then and night. Hopefully you guys participate in that one. <laughs> but the player was Rashard Lewis. Rashard Lewis. All right. NBA All-Decade Scoring Leaders. Any surprises on this list? Uh, no. Well, I'm kind of surprised with LaMarcus Aldridge a little bit. I'm not. I think that's one person that actually wasn't. Um, I mean, the man was a walking bucket before he got injured. I mean, especially when he was on the Trailblazers. Yeah, we all know him. He was a, he was literally a walking bucket. Um, I don't think, I don't have any surprises on this list. I mean, maybe possibly, possibly Russell Westbrook. But I, I still I don't think it's really a surprise though, truly, because the man is a he's a he can score. That's one thing he can do is score. Um, Demar Derozan I expected to be a little bit higher. Um, right. I expected Demar to be a little bit higher, but he wasn't. But um, I knew he was on the list though. What about you, Dennis? Any surprises? Uh, no surprises here at all. I'm actually, I'm actually. Well, I guess James Harden. When did he get? When did he get traded to the the Rockets? Third was year. That, what, was that twenty? That was after the finals, right? So that was twenty. Twenty what? Thirteen. Yeah, it was twenty thirteen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not, I'm not surprised by by any of these at, at all. I thought maybe Steph might be a little higher than Westbrook, but I mean. The facts are the facts. I am surprised about that, actually, now that you say that. Um, I just noticed that. that Steph, but Steph, we got to remember, was injured in his first couple years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, he had the ankle problems. But it's still surprising to an extent, though. I'm be honest with you that he isn't higher than him. Um, Jay Jones said, looking at, the, looking at the list, we see Miami first and Seattle last. He confused me. Yeah, it went from bottom to top, so I do apologize about that. I just pulled it from that, but, yeah. Let's move on to our next one. Best player to wear number 34. So we got Akeem, Paul Pierce, a lot of great players. Akeem, Paul Pierce, Charles Barkley, Giannis, Shaq, and Ray Allen. A lot of greats have worn a number 34. I've blessed that number. Who do you yeah. guys feel has, is the best player to wear that number? Well, I'll tell you, you removed right away. Paul Pierce. <laughs> you remove Paul Pierce right away. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. You trying to tell me Ray Allen is better than Paul Pierce? I'm I, not saying Ray Allen is better than Paul Pierce. You saying he's going to remove both of them. Okay, so why are you removing Paul Pierce before Ray Allen then? Yeah, that's a good question. Though. Hey, right, right. Well, 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 two championships championships are, are better than one. And what, what did we talk about last? He made a clutch shot to win a championship. So, I, I mean – so I mean, Paul Pierce does got a five. If you look at their careers, that's what I'm about to say. Like he went, he went to a bandwagon team. Okay, he but he still had a spike chance. too. If, if he if he didn't if he didn't make make that shot, he would, you know, that 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 affects a lot of stuff. Just like uh, Chad was just talking about. So since um, I, I gotta go, I, I'll go with Jesus Shuttlesworth over. Yeah, you go Ram. with Jesus Shuttlesworth. Wow. Over the truth. 
Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Who's the best, though, out of this list? So. The best? I, I have a, a – as, as I'm watching right now, the, the 94 NBA Finals, <laughs> when he went against two of the best centers in the league and he dominated them in those you're two about, years. When you're he talking about the dream? Title, I'm going with the dream, man. You know Two-time what? defensive NBA player of the year. I love Shaq, but Shaq also wore 32. So is, is it really a true 34? It is a true 34 because he won all three of his rings. I mean, he won three rings in that 34, though. I'm yeah. going with Shaq in 34. He was the MVP at 34. He was the most dominated player in the league at 34. He was the best. Like him too? That's the funny. Yeah. Uh, see, I had to. He was the best. He was the best uh, one-two punch, me and Kobe. So – I'm going with Shaq, the Big Diesel, the Aristotle. The Big Cactus. The Big Cactus. Big Cactus, yeah. I said, don't forget, don't forget the Big Cactus. And he's a private invest- investigator, too. That's what he's going through that near. How you be throwing um, uh, Will Chamberlain's um, Volleyball Hall of Fame in. Um, I agree with you. I'm going with Shaq, though. Um, Shaq won all three of his championships. He three-peated with it. Um, was the most dominating player in the league at the time when he was um, wearing number 34. Yeah, he did wear 32 before, but we all know 34 Shaq. Yeah, that man was dominating in every aspect. Um, I can make a case for um, Charles Barkley too a little. He just doesn't have all rings, but I still can make my case for Charles if I wanted. To. Was the MVP? He got the MVP. And you cannot deny the fact that that man won an MVP. But Giannis, I'm definitely- Giannis Antetokounmpo is the reigning MVP. I mean, you, do you do you think he has a chance of getting it if he stays a, he stays in the league a little bit? You think, you think he can dethrone to get it two rings? He can dethrone um, Hakeem and Shaq because I think those two are the best number thirty fours on this list. He need five rings to do that. Five? I don't know about five. Uh, Giannis got to get five rings to dethrone Shaq and, and uh, Hakeem. Why five? He got to get five. Shaq got four, and Hakeem got two. Yeah, but five, that's, that's a lot. I mean, I, you can't – what are you adding them up? Like, I'm just saying. You got to get five. All right. That sounds like something Paul Pierce would say right there. <laughs> All right. So oh, according so- to Mr. Brian Scalabrini, he said okay. Mr. Jason Austin Tatum. Homer. Yeah, he said Jason Tatum is for sure a top ten player in the league. Do you guys agree with this? Do you think he's close to being a top ten player? At yeah, least he's or? close. He's close. He's but close. do you not think he's a top ten player right now? Uh, you know what? I mean, he. Uh, it, it's so hard because he was playing lights out prior to the the uh, shutdown. I think uh, the Kobe thing had a big effect on him, and he he channeled his inner Mamba, and uh, he was playing lights out, man. I mean, I uh, he really took a jump. I mean. The first year he played pretty well in the playoffs. Second year he tailed off a little bit, but that was the Kyrie Irving effect. Um, and then now I think he's a little bit more free to play. Um, uh, I think he's close, but I don't think he's top ten. What about you, Dennis? He's top ten. You do? Yeah. You think he's top ten? This boy got talent. This boy's the real deal. This is the Grand He's top ten at the moment. Is what you're telling me. This is the Grand Hill of our era. All right. Without the injuries. Without the injuries. Without the injuries. You think he's top ten at the moment? Uh, yeah. uh, yes. And, um, three, I, mean, I, 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 I can't. Here's the reason why. This season. He did good, in the, as you said. In the playoffs last year, he looked really good. The playoffs before, he, I mean, the playoffs last year, he looked really good. As you say, Chandler is at her mom. But this season, you saw how inconsistent he still was, though. You yeah, saw he, that. He was just coming around right now. I mean. He was at the end of the season, which is good. Don't get me wrong. That means he knows how to turn it on when, they, when the, he knows how to turn it on when the season matters at times. But let us be real and let us remember that he was inconsistent for the whole first half of the season. You can't be top ten if you're gonna be consistent half of the inconsistent half of the season. I just I think that automatically takes you out. Now is he close? Yes, absolutely. He's definitely close to being up there. But until he becomes consistent, he can't be top ten. He just can't. I think that's impossible for him. Him to be top ten. I'm upset that you said that. Name ten better. 
So you got LeBron already. You got Kawhi. You got um, you got Kevin Durant. You got James Harden. He ain't playing this season. Oh my God, he's still. Once again, when he comes season. back, no he but he comes back. When I know, he comes, but this, this is saying in the league. It's, it's not saying, saying in the league. It's it, this isn't saying in the league. We ain't sure if he's coming back. Okay, look, let me name my list. Then we can talk. You got you got LeBron. You got Steph. KD, Kawhi, James Harden, that's five right there. Giannis, that's six, seven, Anthony Davis, eight, um, Damian Lillard. Um, I'm at eight right now. You got Joker. I'm putting Joker, I'm putting Joker over. That's nine. So I need one more. Now I'm almost there. Is it isn't Kemba? I think Kemba's better than him. His uh, own his own teammate. Not, not. His own teammate is better than him. Uh, oh Luca. George, George Luca. Just stuck. Luca. No, Luca's not better. Luca, Luca, Luca. yes he is. Yes, George, yes he, he is. Like Luca's not better. Luca's not better than him. Dude, dude, than him, dude. Devin Booker is better than Jason Tatum, bro. What you're telling me is Luca's not. That. Pull that. You're me, He's not. You're telling me Luca. Luca Devin Booker is better than Jason Devin Tatum. Booker or Luca is not better. How is Luca not God, better than Jason here, Tatum? Bro. How is Luca not better than Jason Tatum? How is Devin Booker play. not better than Jason Tatum when he scores seventy points wait, wait, wait. on no, no, their let team? Me, no, no, let me speak on Jason Tatum now. God damn, Go Luca ahead. does not play defense. Jason Tatum barely plays defense. No, he plays defense. Sometimes. How Jalen Brown? They D up. Sometimes. They D up. Sometimes. I'm, I'm just sorry. The sample size isn't big enough for me to put so, him in the so, top ten. So he doesn't play defense, hey, right? Hey, Andrew, Paul George is not better than him. So there's oh, yeah. this year. And you, you forgot about Paul George. You forgot about Kawhi. You didn't even mention Kawhi. Did you mention Kawhi? You mentioned Kawhi. Yeah, I mentioned Kawhi, Kawhi, of course. George. But let's be honest here, Dennis. Okay, so, so he be, uh, if he's playing. If he's playing. Uh, uh, so wait, no, no, Dennis. Let, let's be honest here, though. Wait a minute. You said that he doesn't play defense. Is that the only thing you have over him? Because he rebounds. He rebounds. He, he's better. He's a better passer than him. And he's, he's almost the same. He, I think he is a better scorer than him. I mean, you got three things over the man. Like, how does that not make you better? You don't play defense. Okay, Dennis. Come on. And I and I seem to see that you like guys that don't play defense. So this ain't a good conversation. Ooh. Ooh. You like Listen. Alan Iverson. You like you Alan like, Iverson, sir. He doesn't like play James defense. Harden. So what you saying? So I guess you you James Harden, the top five on shooting guard. All the time. A, he's number five. So that's see, I told you. Players. Exactly. You don't like people that play uh you like Alan He doesn't play defense anymore, but hey, you still like him. <laughs> he still made him as putting him in the blender. That man made a big difference on that team with Kyrie. He does, and I'm not telling, and I'm not saying the boy that broke his leg. What was his name? Paul George. What was his name on the first, the first, the first, first game of the season. Oh, uh, Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward. Okay, and I'm not, the, I'm not denying the fact so that the man. The wait, wait, wait. So who was the star of the team? When all that happened, when what? Stay with me. Stay with Kyrie? Me. Are you forgetting that Kyrie was on the team? Kyrie, Kyrie was got on the injured. Team. Kyrie got injured too. But Kyrie was on the team. He's, but Kyrie got injured too. He was still and, they the went, and they went to the they went to the Eastern Conference Championship. And they who lost. was the star of that team? What, what I'm trying to tell you is, I get was, you and I understand. Who was LeBron's to having the stick? Who was the star of the team? Who oh, was putting Ben Simmons, Simmons' ass in the blender? Who was it? Buddy, pal. Jason Tatum. <laughs> okay. Listen I know we never we never said that we never said that he was denying that he is we never said that Ben Simmons was better than Jason Taylor. We're not even denying that he isn't great, but what I'm telling you is Luka Doncic is a better player than him. Luka Once Doncic again, consistency fucking, a James Harden clone. That's what he is. Consistency, consistency matters. At the end of the day, it matters, right? So you can't take off half the season and not be good and be inconsistent the whole time, and then another half of the season you're actually good. I want somebody that's gonna be there. Oh, every so wait, wait, wait. Time. So if somebody, so wait a minute, uh, Donovan, how you doing, Donovan? How you doing, Donovan? What's going on? What is what is your knock on Kawhi Leonard? <laughs> He's a game. He's wait, 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 game. I asked Donovan. Know. I asked Donovan. No, I, asked I know, Donovan. but I, am, am Donovan, I, what's your knock on Kawhi Leonard, Donovan? He doesn't play. He doesn't play full the full. Eight, he doesn't oh, play the season. So do we take Kawhi Leonard off the off this list? No. Oh. Um, oh, so thank you, hey, TC. Look, oh wait, 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 wait. This should end it off. TC's a Boston fan. He he's a Boston fan. He's top twelve. He's not top ten though. I he's think that's close. It he's close. He's close, but he's close, and we're seeing that. But he's not there yet. He's, he's just not, not 
we're not we're not listening to TC. God, this is my argument. God damn it, I'm not worried about what TC said. This is my not argument, from a true if TC fan. got an argument. TC can join the show. This is my <laughs> argument right now. Jason Tatum is top ten in the NBA. Me and Brian Scott Labrini agree on it. I'm not. Right, well, that's I'm not, not, I'm not say, something I'm to be afraid of. Brian, Brian, Brian Scott Labrini ain't that the boy they call the White Mama. <laughs> Don't make me get Greg Oden in that, man. We saw what he did in the big three, too. We moving on to the next topic. It. Oh, my God. He is not. It's fine. And Jason Tatum again, man. <laughs> hey, what is the worst trade in Nets history? So, I'm going to give him to him. So, hey, Dr. Dre to Philly for $3 million. Paul Pierce and Garnett trade. We all know what that was. They literally gave away all their number one picks to to the Celtics, they they gave literally all their number one picks away for the last couple of years. They just finally got a number one pick back. Corver to Philly for 150k. Which one of these are the worst trade in Philly on uh, Philly's history? I think it's obvious, and I'm going with B easily. This kept the Celtics. Oh, no, this in- is trade in Nets history, not Philly. I mean Nets. I'm sorry, I meant to say, I meant to say Nets. Nets. It's still the same thing. New Jersey, Philly, same thing. No, it's not. No, it's not. But look, I'm easily going with being the. You said you go to Camden all the time, man. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, listen. Shout out to Camden, uh, New Jersey. Shout out, to, shout out to Jersey. Period. Let me get that out of the way. Uh, buddy, buddy, pal. Hey, Andrew, Andrew, I see what you had a you got a nice list. Joel and B doesn't play the whole season like he just said. He said he wants a guy that's consistent. So if he's gonna have a, a list like that talking about consistency. Joel B can't be there. Kawhi Leonard can't be there. Oh, all right, right look. All That's right. All I'm saying. Right. If that's your list, then they can't be there. Be on the next topic. Realize now that I really like this. Um, I'm easily going with B though. Easily. Um, it get, it kept the Celtics. That's the worst trade. Yes, they gave away. They gave the Nets traded all their draft picks for the next six, five to six years for Paul Pierce and Garnett, an yeah. old Paul Pierce and Garnett at that. Right. They were like 33, 34. We got to remember that. It wasn't like they were in their prime still. It was old Paul Pierce and Garnett. This right. kept them in this game. This literally gave them Jason Tatum, Marcus Smart. It gave them, um, what's the one? Robert Williams. Literally all the draft picks that you see that makes the Celtics the Celtics, it gave them that. That's literally what it gave them. It made the Celtics the Celtics who it is right now, who they are. So, yes, that's the worst trade as it is. Why would you give away all your draft picks for two old people? And then they didn't stay the whole time. The Kyle Corver situation was a little weird. It is. <laughs> because because Kyle Corver was drafted in the second round and, and the Sixers didn't have a second round pick. But what I didn't know is you can buy your way into the second round. I didn't either. Uh, I didn't know that. That's why I said it was a little weird to me. I didn't know that either, actually, now that you talk about it. Does anybody think that Dr. Dre to Philly? I mean, I, I think mean, that, I don't know. Well, back I, then, I that $3 million was really the worst good. trade. You think that is the worst one? Yeah, because I feel like, I mean, I mean, you're looking at overall, like, results, right? Yeah, I mean, but, I, yeah, I guess. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I don't think Jason Tatum's played long enough, and those draft picks haven't pan out. I mean, it would be one thing if the Celtics have won a championship – with that, with that trade, but they hadn't won one since they had Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett. So. Well, let's be honest here, though. You got to let it pan out. They just, I mean, Jalen Brown is starting to come on. We know that. Jason yeah, Tatum, you let it pan out. You let it pan out, but 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 facts are facts, right? You're right. I got you. So I, I'm gonna go with the factual thing that, and I'm gonna go with um, Dr. J to Philly, and I think Dennis uh, would appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, shout that, out to that! Shout out to that 1983 championship that I wasn't around for, so I cannot claim it. The funny thing, you know, it's funny too. One of y'all said that Dr. J was the reason why they won that, and I guess one of y'all just forgot that most of Malone was on that team. Right. I don't think, but hey, you know, it is what it is. But y'all going with A, and I'm going with B. Fair enough. Let's move on to the next topic. Um, pick your squad. I like these. Mm. You know, with A, you got Russ, James Harden, Joel Embiid. And Kevin Durant and Anthony Davis. With B, you got Jimmy Butler, Giannis, LeBron, Steph. I don't know why they put Andre Drummond up there because that man sucks now, but that's what size the point. I think that's uh, the reason that I'm going with A because Andre Drummond's down there. If they'd have put somebody different, like they'd have put the Joker down there, that'd have been yeah. more competitive. That would have been way more competitive. All right, so well, let's put the Joker down there. Like, <laughs> let's put the Joker down there and let's rediscuss it. So, who are you going with now if the Joker's down there? Ah, that's a good question. Yeah. Now I'm going. I'm going with B. 
Yeah, it's like I gotta go with B now. Because my whole thing that I'm thinking about is like who's guarding who? Right. All right, so I know I gotta put I gotta put Giannis on Anthony KD. Davis. What? And I and I know that um LeBron gonna get cooked by KD. Cooked? As, as LeBron showed up on KD in any of these finals? I mean, are we hey, forgetting that LeBron was averaging 30 points still against no, us? No, 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 no. We didn't say what he scored. We said So that's not LeBron. saying okay. So they're okay. cooking each other. It, it, come on, you're you're not you're not you're not really you're not really explaining the whole situation with LeBron going against KD with the Stax Warriors with with Steph. I'm Curry saying you just gonna say cook. Like you just said cook like this man is just getting destroyed the whole game. Okay, by all right, you know what? You're right. I was talking about the Warriors. You're right. LeBron and KD met when the uh, KD was in OKC, right? And he yeah. beat him. They right. Beat him. right, but didn't he give didn't he give LeBron 35 the first game? He did, but at the end of the day, LeBron won and won Finals MVP. So I, I, oh, I might wait, wait, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 I'm sorry. Before we go on, TC Drummond got traded for a reason. It wasn't because he was still good. It was one because he's being a crybaby. Two, his production slowed down. He's and a he's a like it, everyone knows that his production has slowed down these last two years. And like three, everyone knows he ain't worth that twenty five million to get. He's not oh, yeah. at all. So I'm not saying that he's just terrible or something, but he's definitely you know, overrated. He shouldn't you know, be, on the list. be on this list. I know he that. shouldn't be on this list, list for sure. But please continue. You're better off putting Carl Anthony Towns on there. No, no, I think what the Joker on there is nice because the Joker and Embiid to go one on one. Uh, Giannis and Anthony Davis go at it. LeBron and KD to go at it. You got Jimmy somebody Butler. said Jimmy's gonna be the silent killer. I think he is. Jimmy is the silent killer on this list. Right. You got Jimmy. You got Jimmy Butler and um, who's that? Jimmy Butler going against uh James Harden. Then you, you can got, put him against James Harden or Russ. I mean, you got, you got stuff going against Russ, and now I think all that that's that's a good competition right there. It's, it's like it's they like should the have replaced stuff. um Russell Westbrook with Kyrie Irving. I actually would have replaced him with Dame more than um, Kyrie. But I mean, but still, let's be let's be clear. Before the season ended, Russell Westbrook was averaging about forty points a game with a ten with ten assists. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. So actually, I'm going to keep Russ on that list because Russ was going in before the season ended. What's up, Fred? Um, I'm going. If we're doing that, I'm going with B. We put Jokic at B. I, I mean, well, I'm in German spot. I'm going with B. Um, I'm not. I'm not doing. I'm not doing hypotheticals. But so I'm going with the actual. If the actual list, I'm going with A. Yes. Yeah, you gotta you gotta go with A. I think uh, overall. Drummond and MB do not go at it. MB be busting Drummond <laughs> ass. Yeah, I say, hey, screw. He owns Drummond. Hey, screw you. Yeah, I about to say, screw. Um, MB owns him. I think I think Drummond had like one good game against um against um MB because every other time that boy MB be destroying Drummond. I don't know what goes on in Drummond's head, but he'd be destroying them. It was one point in time where and B called out literally every big man to Hassan Whiteside, and he just destroyed every single big man. The only big man that had a competition against him, if I'm not mistaken, it, it was Joker, and I think Carfini to had one good game against him, but everybody else was getting destroyed. That's why I said if B's playing the whole season, and B's a problem, like a complete problem. We all know that though. That's not even a question behind it. So we're going with A on this list, though. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm going, gonna go with A. Fair enough. I can, I can agree with that. I can definitely agree with that. All right, let's move on to the next one. Best duo to never win an NBA title. So we got Penny and Shaq, Amari and Steve Nash, Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, and then Crappy Carl Malone and Mr. John Stockton. It's, it's uh, Stockton Malone. Yeah, I, I think they were together the, the longest, and and they have the opportunities. Um, I'm gonna go with Carl Malone, John Stockton, Amari Stoudemire, and Steve Nash. No, you know what? If I was to rank them though, it's Carl one, Carl and uh, Stockton one. It's Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook two. It's Penny and Shaq three. It's Amari and Nash four from the rank them. Can I ask you why you put? Why did you put um, Stock? I mean, why did you put um, Russ and? And KD over Penny and Shaq. I'm just curious. My disagreement. Well, Russ, and, Russ and KD was um was close a couple years. You know, they made it to the championship that one year and they lost, but they was close a couple more years. They actually had ropes three to one. So 
<laughs> yeah, they was on the ropes, on the ropes too. Yeah, they had That's the words on the ropes man. until Clay Thompson uh, he let him up. Well, when Clay Thompson get that, I ain't fucking losing. But well, when he get that, that I'm, when he got injured, before he got injured, he had that in his, he had that in his eyes. Right. Yeah, when he get that, uh, when the I like to call the Wolf of Wall Street look. When he get that Wolf of Wall Street look, you know what? We're not fucking leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. We're not fucking leaving. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all when he was playing the Raptors and they were down that two three. Yes. And he got injured. He, got he had that in his face though. It was in his face. It was in his eyes that they weren't losing at all. Hey, he's a scary. He's a scary person. He's a scary man when he's when he's like playing. That's besides the point. I'm gonna agree with that list though. I was just wondering why you did it, but I'm gonna agree with that list that you made. Donovan, any changes you would make? Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting stock from alone one. You know what? Um, potential wise. I think Shaq and Penny was better than Kevin Durant. Potential wise, yeah, I guess. Uh, I, I just think with Penny's injuries, so I'm factoring all that stuff in, and I'm, I'm doing Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, num number um, number three, and then I'm, I'm doing Amari and Steve Nash. I think the only reason why we don't we don't put Amari and Steve Nash higher is because we felt as though they had more of a complete team than all of them. They did. They Absolutely. did have more of a complete team. Yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah. That they, team. They, they they were they were the Warriors before the Warriors were the Warriors. To be honest with you. Yep. Exactly. They were the Warriors, and they, and they had a big man. Absolutely. All right. Next topic. <laughs> Which player becomes the best if you add these things to each player? Though. So you got Pippen. If you got James Harden with Pippen's defense. Since Dennis, you always say he doesn't have defense. Now he, he, you add Pippen's defense to him. You yeah, got Pippen, you got Pippen's defense to him. Go ahead, I'm, I'm gonna let it go. You got Giannis with uh, Kobe's jump shots, so that means that man can shoot now. Actually, you got Duncan's with. Uh, I mean, you got Russell Westbrook with Duncan's IQ. You got um, Kevin Durant with Carmelo strength. Kyrie Irving with um, Julius Irving's dunk. That's horrible. Um, you got um, you got Steph Curry with Dominique Wilkins' athleticism. You got Chris Paul with Hakeem Olajuwon's height. Um, I can't see the bottom. Oh, you got Stockton. I mean, you got Kawhi Leonard with Stockton's playmaking. And then you got Anthony Davis with, um, Davis with Iris's handle. Which player becomes the best out of on this list? I think all right, it was there's two things I want to change up. Uh, Kyrie Irving, I need him to have the leadership of somebody else. I don't, I don't need him to have. I don't uh, need to have dunks at all. Right, but, I, need have dunks. I need him to have better leadership. Let's say he has a let's say he has the leadership of um I don't know let's let's say um who had good leadership in, in the league you know let's say he has the leadership of LeBron James okay that's fine I can I can deal with that and now you say you're changing on one thing else whatever thing I'm changing on Westbrook I, Duncan's IQ I can care less about what I can care less about Westbrook okay. shooting I mean Westbrook um IQ. What I care about is him shooting. So give him somebody with a shot. Right. And right, then let's, that's let's different. Give him, let's give him Ray Allen's jump shot. Okay. okay. I'm fair. Right? That, that, that's fair. So who are we picking then with those two changes? I'm still going to give Chris Paul something different, though. I don't want him to have a large one. <laughs> hey, if he has a large one's height with the game that he has, he's the greatest player of all time. Probably. No, he, he needs somebody's health. <laughs> He needs a player that doesn't get help. That doesn't get hurt. LeBron in crucial game. Le LeBron LeBron <laughs> yeah. yeah. So who are you picking, Dennis? Well, with that being said, uh, I'm going. I might have to still go with Giannis. Giannis with Kobe Bryant's jump shot. It's oh. deadly. It's deadly. Uh, if they had, if they had LeBron on here, if they had LeBron with a. Uh, well, with Kobe's clutchness, he's a great player. So you go, you going with Giannis. Who are you going with, Donovan? Uh, I'm gonna go with. I think Harden's biggest knock is defense. So I'm gonna go with, with Pippen's defense with James Harden. Yeah, that's a nice one too. That yeah, nice. I mean, if he plays defense and he's able to score like that, if he becomes a two-way player, I mean, his ability to score, I mean, it's pretty much he's he's the best player in the league. <laughs> yeah. Kyrie, Kyrie Irving uh, with, with, with some 
Oh my gosh. When Urban dunked. No, oh, you talking about Urban's Irvin, leadership? I mean, what I mean with um with uh LeBron's leadership. Yeah, yeah, that would be. Said he, oh my god. I'm going with Giannis. Giannis's main knock is that the fact that he can't shoot that well. I mean, he's been improving it year by year, but his main knock is he can't shoot that well. You give him Kobe's jump shot because that includes his his fadeaway. Giannis is gonna back anybody down. And then he hits that fade with a Kobe fadeaway. That's unstoppable. He's already seven foot as it is. Kobe was only six seven, six six. A seven footer doing a Kobe fadeaway. Not to mention he he, he can play point guard too. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that's unstoppable. Every every single bit of it. That's unstoppable. It's not fair to anybody. Like that's like adding Ben Simmons with Kobe shot. Like it's the same difference. Like it's it's not fair to anybody. You can I mean, add Ben Simmons with anybody's shot, man. He just needs a shot. <laughs> he just needs a shot at this point. He does. You can give him Russell Westbrook's shot, he'd still be better than it is. Yeah, like, I agree. but okay, so we got we're gonna go ahead to the next topic. Get your boy Ben Simmons, man. I'm tired of him not shooting. I need you to go into the locker room and during to break his ankles. I ain't said on the SEC on airways. Um I'm but, not, I, I wasn't it was just a joke that he said ladies. It was just a it was joke. Just a joke. It was just a joke. Was no just one's a joke. gonna break Ben Simmons' ankles. Maybe on the court, you know, but no, that's about it. All right. Oh, which team would you win in a best of seven? Which team would win in a best of seven series? We got Allen Iverson, D Wade. Oh, Michael so it's a top versus the bottom, right? Yeah, top versus bottom. You got Allen Iverson, D Wade, Michael Jordan, Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Durant, then James Harden, Kobe Bryant, LeBron. Is that team Mac down there? And then um, Kevin Durant. I can't see the bottom in mean, Kevin Durant. That yeah, that's team Mac. Just wanted to make sure. Oh shit. <sighs> Yeah, you got it. Only uh, reason I'm going with the top is because of Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Yeah, it's going to say it. It's not because of Michael Jeffrey Jordan. It's because of Allen Bubba Chuck Iverson. Oh, my God. The guy that doesn't play. So you got two people that don't play defense on each other. That, that's what I see. I don't think D Wade should be guarding Kobe Bryant. I mean, who else is going to guard him? <laughs> I, I, will, I will let Michael Jordan guard Kobe Bryant. And then you're going to put a prime put Kawhi, team back I, I put Kawhi on LeBron James, and I want D Wade to be guarding Tracy McGrady. Yeah, Tra- the, the fact that they have Tracy McGrady on the bottom, I just can't. It, it's, it's, I mean, great career, but just not in the same class. I think it's, I think it's one tier lower. Um, so, yeah, I'd have to go at the top. I mean, I'm going with the top because they got Michael Jeffrey Jordan up there. Yeah, I mean, you got and you got and you got arguably you got three great defensive players and Wade, Jordan, Kawhi. Kevin Durant played defense too. Let's not forget about that. He plays defense too. Kevin who? Kevin Durant plays defense. Don't act like he doesn't. Don't act like he doesn't. When he got to the Warriors, he started actually playing defense. Well, yeah, I mean, because he because he didn't have to play that much on offense. I mean. I easy. mean, it's, it's easy for you to play defense. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, wait, wait, Donovan. Do you knock? Do you knock LeBron James' defense? No, no, that's not what I'm going to say. Let me. No, no, I just want to know. I'm talking to Donovan right now. Do you knock? Wait, do you okay, knock so I know. No, no, LeBron James really didn't start playing good defense until, like, I mean, he started. He was playing defense in Miami, but he took years off of playing defense until he got to the Lakers this year. Until it was. Until it was Priest that he had to play defense. LeBron James was playing great defense this year, and that's he can play defense when he wants to play defense. Y'all saying Kevin Durant doesn't play defense? Is that what I'm hearing? Kevin Durant has always played. Kevin Durant has always played play defense, defense, but I'm just saying it was easier for him to play defense while he's playing with a 73 and nine Warriors team. Uh, I guess. I guess I'm not gonna deny it, but I guess I'm just gonna say I guess though. For the benefit of it, I guess. So we're all going with the top, right? Yeah, I mean, I think it. I think that's. I think when you look at just overall like defense and the ability to score, um, yeah, Harden I have to. I think the, the James Harden, James Harden, James Harden, and Tracy McGrady's health, it just it, it kind of kills everything. What I will say is though is that let me ask y'all. We're going because we always go matchups wise. Who wins? The, who wins each spot on the I matchup? I told you wise? the matchup I wanted though. I switched mine's up. Right. You. I know that. Well, we're just going down the line. Let's not use. Let's no hypotheticals. Let's say they are guarding each other right here. Who wins? Who wins each match? Each matchup. I was going to kill James Harden. I don't think he is. 
Here we go. I, I think, think they cancel. Each- I think that's a wash. I think they cancel each other out. Let's not say he's gonna kill him. James Harden could put up sixty points in a game, and they both, yeah, Allen Iverson can too. So I think they cancel each other out for sure. Okay. I think Kobe wins the D Wade matchup. That's why I said don't. But that's not gonna. But that's not. But let's D Wade still gonna score on him. I mean, we've seen D Wade and Kobe Bryant go back and forth with each other before. Mm-hmm. So I got Michael Jordan over LeBron. Once again, it's not gonna be by a lot. They they'll go back and forth with each other. They ain't going back and forth. LeBron going to fold like a lawn chair. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. LeBron going to fold like a lawn chair. He's going to take LeBron right out the game. No, he's not. Let's stop it. Like, let, let's let's stop it here. I'm not even going to go even into that. Let's stop it. I love we Michael never Jordan. seen LeBron go, get taken out of a game before? One year. Can we stop acting like one year? One year. One year, buddy. One year. Like, yes. stop. One year. You're right. That's a little bit. That's the LeBron with the Lakers jersey on. You're right. I'll give you that one. Kawhi Leonard is going to – he's going to – I'm sorry. He's taking him out the game. He's taking T-Mac out the game. You oh, he, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. I ain't yes. never seen nobody take T-Mac out the game. Are you yes. telling me that Kawhi yes, is going to take Kawhi him out the game? Is. Kawhi Leonard is. I ain't never seen nobody take T-Mac out the game. T-Mac taking some out the game on injury. <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody take T-Mac out the game. But you I'll be honest with you. Might be my – it might it might be my um he it might be my team back case for that one, but it is. Okay, well I'm letting you know that Kevin Garnett gonna kill Kevin Durant. I know he's not. Oh my god. We're not going we have this conversation every show, I feel like every show we're gonna have this conversation. I'm gonna keep asking people every time. Don't nobody seem to answer my question. I need I need answers. Jay because- Jones, you here, Jay Jones. I need answers, Jay Jones. TC, where you at, TC? I need answers. Kevin Durant versus Kevin Garnett. Who wins? Kevin Durant. And that's Kevin Garnett. With no, it's Kevin Garnett, man. I'm and that's sorry. Kevin Durant wins this matchup with ease. With ease. With ease. But I mean, I ease. Question, when, when he missed his first shot, is the game over? Who? If, if Kevin Durant misses a shot. Why would he miss a shot? TC, you said the rent TC. Nick, hold on, TC. Now, what's going on with you? <laughs> Thank you, Jay. KD, Tom, KD, KD all day. Thank you, TC. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Can I, really, you know can I get the ages of those players? Ramona, what are you doing? You Thank are you, a girl. Thank you, Ramona. I appreciate it. Oh, my, oh my God. Do y'all God. not know who Kevin Garnett is? Do you not know who KD is? KD can't do pets. Do you not know who KD is? I'm just asking. Garnett in the blender. I'm just asking. Yeah, you need to um scroll scroll some footage. Uh, Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. I keep trying to tell you. I hate when y'all say I need to scroll footage of K. I mean Kevin Garnett in his prime. Kevin Garnett is my favorite big man next to Dwight Howard. Those two are my favorite big men. I know who KG is. I know who he is. I know what he does. But once again, KD is a different animal. He's a different animal. It's just as simple as that. We can have this conversation every show. My answer's not going to change. It just Mine's isn't. Ain't even, so we go into the next slide. All right. Kevin Garnett. Okay. We're moving to the NBA part of our show. As I said, it's going to be two giveaways. Since nobody got the first one, um, I'll make sure Kevin to do Garnett another one at the end of the show. Of year, Jay Jones? Huh? You know Kevin Garnett was Defensive Player of the Year, KJ? Oh, my God. Yes, we do, buddy. Oh, you're talking about health. But um, <laughs> what up? We're on to the next topic. Um, I, like I said, we're doing two giveaways. I did the first one. No one got the answer, so I'm going to do another one later on. But name this player. I will cash out you $10 right now. Hopefully, we get some um, interactions with this one. Name this player $10. I'll cash out you right now. Just inbox me your cash out. You'll get the $10. Name this player. Mm-mm-mm. Garnett is great, but he ain't KD. I hear you, Miss Ramona Dow. Mm, 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 mm. This is, I can't believe this defense wins games. This actually used to be one of my favorite quarterbacks, too. That's crazy. I'm trying to give away free money. Nobody ain't trying to answer. That's crazy. That's all right. They got three more minutes. Three more minutes. Answer my question. There he is, Mr. Mr. Devon. How we doing, brother? Are you, you connecting? His, his, his audio connecting. Don't answer a question, Devon Avery. I think you Trisha know that. Trisha right? Joy. Trisha Joy. 
Once again, if you answer the question correctly, you get ten dollars. You get ten dollars. I will cash up you right now. Um, what player is this? That's what the question is, Trisha. What player Thank is you, this? Brian. Garnett would drop 40 on KD. Thank you, Brian. If he's, Thank dropping, you. 40, if he's dropping 40, that means KD is dropping 60. KD ain't uh -huh. dropping no damn 60 on Kevin Garnett. You Once again, you. what player is this right here? Listed. That's their stats. Is it a Jets question? No, it's not a Jets question. <laughs> Who was that? Was that Trisha? Yes. yes. Oh, my gosh. You Ramona, the, the question is, game. name the – Ramona, the question is name the player who play who guess the player right here. This is one player that's guess the player. Whoever gets the question right will cash up you ten dollars. That is the question. Just as simple as guess the player. And you got one minute. Who was that? Was that Trisha? Yes. yes. Oh my god. Oh god. Ramona, the question is name the player who play. Who guess oh, wait, the mute, you got to mute that. Oh. Is guess the player. Whoever gets the question right will cash up you ten dollars. That is the question. Just as simple as guess the player. And you got one minute. You said that like one minute ago, but it's all good. There's a divine uh, playing the in the background. We can hear. Oh, okay. It. What am I playing oh, in the background? Right. Shut up. Was that? that Trisha? Yes. yes. Oh my god. I'm not playing nothing in the background. <laughs> Who's playing? Ramona, the question is name. So Who's playing it? Oh, wait, you got to mute that. I don't have anything. Oh, you talking about? Oh, 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 the show. Oh, the show is playing in the right, background. The show. Oh, you hearing that? You hearing a repeated echo? Oh. oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going back to it. It's not Orlowski. It's not Rudy Carver. Keep guessing. I'm trying to get back to it. It's not working. I'm not playing nothing in the background. Who's playing? playing it? <laughs> I don't have anything. Oh, you talking about? Oh, 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 oh! The show, the show is playing. Oh, you hearing that? You hearing a repeated echo? Oh, oh. Well, Aaron, Aaron Bowles got the question right, but he said he doesn't want ten. Aaron Bowles, you, you're getting, you're getting the ten, buddy. You have to take it. You got the question right. And yes, it is Josh Freeman. Um, oh, yeah, he would get that right. That's his team. That's his team. I should have, you know, yeah. you shouldn't have answered if you didn't want the team. And I forgot that is your team. You shouldn't have answered. <laughs> it is not Josh Johnson, even Brian. It is um Josh Freeman. Um, Josh Johnson has never had these stats in his life. I want the $10. No, you can't. You're on the show now. You, if you would have answered. Oh, let me get off the show money. so I can get me some money. No, it's, too late. <laughs> it's, too, it's too late. We moving on. Um, I'm going to uh, put another question up here also um, since you guys didn't answer the first one. So if you just. Hang tight. We'll get another question up here later. Top five quarterbacks that are overrated and underrated. I don't know how Aaron Rodgers is up there or Joe Burrow up there as far as overrated-wise. Especially, I don't know how Joe Burrow is up there already. He hasn't played a game yet. But do you guys agree with what, what hey, Do they got Josh Allen as overrated? Yeah, they do. Wow. Uh, wow. Yeah, don't say. <laughs> uh, well, wow. Wow. They got my boy Booker. Who else has been saying that for <laughs> two seasons now? Yes, we know you have. We actually have a question. I'm glad you're on the show. We have a question for you in two slides, too. We have a question for yeah, you. And that oh, question yeah, better got... not have been lingering in the Facebook messenger from it earlier is, today. Because, because if it about. is, and anybody refutes me, I'm going to send them a cash app with my foot in your ass. That's what's about to happen. Uh, look at language, sir. The language. Language, language, my long point network, sir. Sorry, FCC. <laughs> what? Who do you guys should think should be? You know what the FCC stands for? No, we don't. You say that. F the Chicago. <laughs> All right, now, buddy. Um, and I'll leave who that. Who do we feel like should be taken off this list, or should be on this other side? Any changes on this list at all? Tom Brady should not be listed as overrated. I agree with that. And. Kirk Cousins should not be listed as underrated. I'd be perfectly fine if they just swip, if they just switch places. <laughs> Do you think? Uh, I mean, I don't think I don't think Joe Burrow should be on this list without playing a game. I don't think anyone's overrated. I don't think Joe Burrow should be on this list, but I understand why they put him there. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I get it. I do understand. I'd be I'd be perfectly fine if they took him off the list and they put Matt Ryan over there too. As overrated? Yes. Yeah, I can give you that. Donovan, anything? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I like the fact that Josh Allen is overrated, or maybe, maybe just because we just 
hear about Josh Allen so much. I think he's overrated, but um, but yeah, he he deserves to be on there. Um, I don't think Aaron Rodgers is overrated. He's not overrated. I don't I don't understand that one even. Be honest with you. Um, and I agree with Devon. I don't think um, I, don't, I don't think Tom Brady's yeah. overrated. Donovan hey, agrees with me. Hey, can I get can I get a tally on that? I think that's three times since Donovan's birth that he agrees with me. <laughs> TC Stidham is not on here. Um, <laughs> we're not talking about tight ends. Um, Trisha said, Trisha said um, to shut up." <laughs> Trisha said, um, "Sam Darnold is underrated." I know you. Okay, Trisha, no. Um, I, don't, I don't think Carson. Well, Richard, uh, think well, Carson well hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think he's underrated. I just think he's under. He's not. A, he's not. He, he may be. Sam Darnold may be the most underappreciated quarterback in the okay. in the That's what I'm gonna say. I yeah. don't know about underrated because uh, let's be clear his 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 stock coming in, especially after his his uh, NFL scrimmages, like people were like bigging him up. So really, like the seven on seven drills, he, they say he was killing. So I guess I, I want to say it was really just the offensive line and the talent around him that is not allowing us to see what he's truly capable of. Now I will say this. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You you telling me that when I'm telling you, I'm telling you the jury is still out. Don't take what I just said as me no, saying Sam Donald is the I'm, SHI. I'll tell you what you just said. You just okay. said that when there's no pressure, he's the man. That's what you said. I said that when there's no pressure, he performed like a veteran and not a rookie. That's what I'm saying. Here's, here's but when there is pressure, he sees ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I would I would put on an underrated, and I'm damn, I'm gonna agree with Devon again, man. But I'm gonna put oh. Uh, Oh, number four. Here we go. Kodak moment. Let's go, Donovan. It's Daniel Jones, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, no, sir. I can't agree with that one right there at all. What is, this, all. The talk, what is this, the talk of New York around here? You going to get yeah. Josh Allen? Hey, man, you will not refer to us as New York. You will refer to us as the town. No, no, no. This talk is of the, the town. talk of New York, like I said. Hold on. I will say this about Sam Darnold. I, I will say this about Sam Darnold, though. Here's what I will say. I'm not high on Sam Darnold as much as ever people are, and I wasn't when he came out of college. And the only reason why is I saw him when he played against Ohio State. And I don't know. Devon, you might have saw. You saw this bowl game when he played against Ohio State. And he yeah. got pressured, and he, he just he played against a good defense. And he just looked terrible. And it just gave me a glimpse of what he had to do when he, play, when he plays against a well, good let's team. Well, be, let's be clear. Uh, that Ohio State defense that he saw was not just good. It was. It was. It was. <laughs> that, it was it was superior. It was. So, uh, it was. I'll give you that. But he just didn't look too good to me for me to say, or to say that this man was going to be great in the NFL as much as he was. But I will say he is. So, under- you, so you 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 think that the team that Sam Darnold had in, at USC? No, and I'm not saying on the West Coast saying- on the West Coast with the with those guys and and I don't. Yo, please, guys on the West Coast, please do not take my comment out of context because I know how y'all get down. But y'all, but but the West Coast players do thrive on sunshine. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> so they tend to be a little uh, laffy taffy when it comes to the, the the gritty games. No, and I agree with you. Okay, all right, because because I'm not trying to have nobody see me on the streets of LA. I agree. With you. <laughs> and Ramona has a question. She said, I am does, "Not um, about that life." <laughs> she said, does, "She said, does um, Jimmy G belong on the overrated list?" What do you guys feel about Jimmy that? G belongs on the does not belong list? Yeah, I think he belongs on the overrated list. Jimmy G doesn't belong. Never mind, I'm gonna leave that word. That's why we seen your love couch. <laughs> your love couch. Um, I don't I, I think he belongs on the overrated list. I, I tell everybody all the time, I'm just not a fan of Jimmy G though. I think he's an overrated game manager. See, this is my issue with J- with putting Jimmy G on that list, with putting Joe Burrow on that list. With putting, uh, with, with putting players like even, even you say Baker Teddy, Mayfield too, because I get where you, I get what you're going. Right? You know, the Baker May, no, 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 no. Baker Mayfield has had three start, three years as a starting quarterback. It's different. Uh, Joe Burrow uh, has not had, two. huh, huh? They only had two. Okay, two, two full years as a starting quarterback. Not right? full, not full either. Hold on, it's not full. No, it was. You go, you go in, you go in in week four. And you get all these accolades, and, the, and you. That's not too for it. Come on now, so bruh, then, so bruh, then stop we, it, so stop then it, hear, stop it, stop it, stop Josh it, Allen, stop it. We just, game. we just, we just got through, bro. We just got through. The, the league just got through giving Ryan Tannehill, who should be on the overrated list. They just got through giving Ryan Tannehill 
the Nobel Peace Prize for football players for starting 12 games. And yet and still, Baker Mayfield has literally, literally started 23 games. And what are we talking about? Okay, the difference on the Ryan Tannehill situation is they, they made a switch at the quarterback position. Just like they, they did with Baker. And, and with Baker, they made it earlier. I'm just saying, they made a switch at the quarterback position and went to the AFC Championship game. That's why he got paid. Okay. But Ryan Tannehill is not on this list for a reason because you don't have enough. You don't have enough. Uh, you don't have enough evidence out there as to whether he's as, as to whether he's really, really overrated and underrated. Because Ryan Tannehill, if we honest, under Adam Gates' system, they gave him nothing. Wait a minute. I'm wait, sorry. Wait. Hold on. Wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. My, I don't mean to cut you off, but if I see dumb things and if I see stuff that doesn't make sense in the comments, then I'm going <laughs> to say something. Patrick Mahomes. Oh, no, I'm out. That's your. I try not to. Read yo, 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 yeah. Let's, yo, yo, come on. Come on. Come on, dog. Come on. Come, can we not? Can we not? Okay. This because can I know we not? I can we say. not? Can, okay. can we? I, I refuse to disrespect Pat, Patrick Mahomes like that. I die. I'm, I'm not even going to honor that with a conversation. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're okay. right. All right. And, and, I, and I get the feeling because I know Yuri, I get the feeling he only saying that to stir up some, some mess. So, anyway, <laughs> moving on. Baker Mayfield has the exact same. If not, and I'm talking about with talent around him, he's ha- he has almost the exact same amount of of uh, evidentiary uh, <laughs> evidentiary uh, product. He has the same amount of uh, a, a game tape with with and without talent as Baker Mayfield, Ryan Tannehill does. The only difference is uh, Ryan Tannehill took his team to the AFC Championship game. So, you gonna blame that on how good the defense was? You gonna blame it on the offensive line, or you gonna call it what it is? What it is is Ryan Tannehill got talent, and he played within the confines of what he's actually capable of doing, and that team thrived. Baker Mayfield got superior talent around him, and still tried to be a superstar, and that team plummeted, plummeted like hurt stock. <laughs> So this for no reason. <laughs> Look, all right, so we got our answer. We're gonna move on to the next topic. Um, Donovan, I know you want to talk about this right here. I'm um, not Donovan. I mean Dennis. I know you want to talk about this right here. This is um true NFL divisions right here. You guys can read. I'm not gonna read them all off. That's a lot of names to read. Anything interesting about this list? I would say. Yeah, they all. I love the fact that they all close together, so you can go to all the games. I go to all them games, all them division games right there. I'm saying this with with the Colts would be like in the Super Bowl almost every every other year. That's a horrible. Oh, man, I just noticed that's a horrible division. Okay, so boy, um, let's just go by division and say we'll win the division. Wait, wait, wait. Go, uh, uh, hold on. Say that again. Uh, I need to see. I need to look. Uh, just give me a second to look through this. That's fine. I mean, that's fine. I'm just saying what we're gonna Ooh. do though. We no, can the go NFC by, North would be the, the NFC North would be the toughest division ever built in life. Yeah. Oh, it would be. It's, that's a disgusting division. That's a disgusting oh my God. division. Just think if you have to. Just think if you're in another division, you got to play that division too. Oof. Division to play. Yo, that's this NFC disgusting. North would be Jesus Christ. The NFC West is good. The NFC West is good too. That's another the one. NFC West is good too, but is yo the Chiefs, Bears, and Packers and Vikings? Oh my God. So. Oh, yeah, that- Let's go each division and see who will win. Realistically, the NFC East is still tough. The Ravens, Eagles, and Steelers. I mean, yeah. we can we can take a dump on the Redskins, but yeah. uh, man. All right. So AFC East, who do we think will win? With the current teams. Current teams. Who do we think will win? The Eagles. AFC East, not NFC East. Not NFC East. Bro. The AFC East. You got the Bills, Patriots, the Giants. Bills, the Bills will still win that division. Yeah. Today the Bills will still win that division. Yeah, yeah, I, I was I would go with the Bills on that one. I got the Bills. I agree. Okay, AFC North. But the team right now, everybody in that division is trash. You still got to pick some, man. It's because they trash. Every, but I don't want to pick. I'm gonna go with the Colts because of their coach. I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the Indianapolis Colts because of their coach. Frank okay. Reich is an excellent coach. I'm going with the Browns. He should not be on the bubble, but he's an excellent coach. I'm going you with said the Browns, Browns, Dennis. Yeah. Donovan. 
I'm gonna go with the Lions. No, I'm just fucking. I'm just playing with y'all, man. Yo, no, stop playing, yo. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. He's I'm, back I'm, to I'm, his. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go with the Colts, man. I'm gonna go with the Colts. Um, I'm going with the Browns too. I'm with Dennis on this one. Um, NFC East. Is it because of the talent? Is, is it because of the talent? It is. It's, it's because of, it's because of the talent. I'm, you, I'm, you gonna you gonna do that without a coach? Um, here's the thing. I don't trust Phillip Rivers right now at the moment. Not saying that he's bad. I just don't trust him at the moment. Um, here's we're talking about regular season here, boy. We're talking it about is. the regular season. I'm not saying the playoffs. You no, just said who's gonna win the division. I get that from but the, my last. Phillip Rivers, is a, Phillip Rivers is a regular season maestro. I get that, but the last sample size that I got, Don, I mean, um, Devon, the last sample size that I got of the man was 20 picks. 20. And, the ball. In the larger scheme of things, twenty picks is not bad when you throw the ball as much as Phillip Rivers yeah, had, but, has to, especially when he was when he was without Melvin Gordon. Uh, I mean, like, let's, well, hold on, wait, let's not act like Austin Eckler. I'm not saying Austin Eckler is I'm good. I'm not as saying Gordon. Austin Eckler is not a beast as well. What I am saying is, when you plan to play with one person and then you all of a sudden have to play with another person, your game plan is it's tough, it's game it's plan tough is with that. I got you. Okay, I got you. But the last sample size that I saw that man wasn't perfect. It wasn't good. So I'm just saying. Yes, they have the better coach with the coach. I, I do agree with you. Frank Wright is an amazing coach. He does not deserve to be on the bubble. But with this one, I'm going with Tom. This one, I'm going with Tom. I'm going to be honest with you. And that's just as simple as that. I'm going with Tom. I saw how that ended up last year, and I'm, a, <laughs> I'm not going to be foolish. <laughs> I mean, we didn't get a good sales out of it last year. I got you. I do understand. So, NFC East. Dennis, you said the Eagles. All right, we already know where you're going with, of course. Donovan? Yeah, that's, a, that's a stupid pick. No, I mean you. You'd have to go with the Ravens based on based off of what currently now. Like I disagree I there too. I agree too much. I don't like it that much. Me, I, I disagree with that too. Oh, you going, disagree with? I thought you said yeah, yeah. I, I disagree with that too. I'm, I'm going. I'm, I'm going to tell you t- today. I'm going with the Steelers, and the only reason why is because I feel like Ben Roethlisberger has has the on and off injury seasons. So this is the this is the season that he doesn't get injured. It's the season that that his entire his entire team stays intact, and unlike unlike every other team in that division, they know how to play against running quarterbacks. So, I'm going with the Steelers. Um, I'm going, and this is a good. Here's what I will say about this division right here: they have three good coaches too. They have yep. three good coaches. Um, yep. with um Harbaugh, um Peterson, and then. And then Mike Tomlin. We saw what Mike Tomlin did with a third string quarterback. Actually, they got four good coaches because yeah, Ron Rivera ain't Rivera, no sleeper. Rivera, 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 Rivera ain't no sleeper forgot, either. Yeah, yeah. I forgot Ron Rivera's there. Yeah, so they have four good coaches for sure. It's just the Redskins don't have all that talent over there as all these other teams do. Yeah, um, but they're starting to build up. They're starting to get there. That's what I said. They're starting, well, they starting to get there. there. If sure, I would them, I would plumb it one more time so I can get Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going with – I'm actually agreeing with you on this. So I'm going with the Steelers. Um. I think Big Ben will come back for a good year this year, and that defense is very, very, very good. Um, so I'm going with the Steelers on this one too. NFC North, this is interesting. Who are we going with on this one? Kansas City. Yeah, I mean, I, I would be inclined to go Packers here today. Can I get Let me ask you. Can I get that? Are you, gonna, are you gonna ask me why? Yeah, because if they had to play in this division, the Chiefs would be beat up every week. Look who they play against now versus who they would have to play in this division. Oh, like how you trying to? You feel like you just threw a shot at our uh, me and uh, Donovan's team? Wait a minute now. He, he did throw a shot. He at just threw a shot at our teams for no reason. We uh, we play. We no, play. no 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 no. I called it what it is. Wait, we play the Chiefs. Sunshine teams. teams. Look, let's be clear. Sunshine teams versus. The minute you pass October, everything that you touch it has icicles on it. Talking about they play in the snow too. We play the when snow they're at home. Right. When they're oh. at home, bro. Oh, right. And then they don't have to. Then they don't have to play the bulk of their games at home until the playoffs. At the, and then they get a first round bye at that. So really, they 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 have they have the leniency to prepare for every team that they might have to play, and yeah, they don't and get gotta, beat up. We get we got. And you got to think about it now. Two, two of the teams in the AFC West, we're in, we're, we're in domes now. Yo, think, think about this. You got to see the Smith brothers. You got to see the Smith boys one week. I mean, you got to see the Smith boys twice. You got to see that entire Vikings defense twice. And then Khalil, Roquan, they, they, Khalil, Roquan, and Eddie Jackson coming for you. 
man, you get the hell out of here. They, okay. I'm going with the Chiefs still on this one. Um, I get what you're saying. I understand it. I, I definitely uh, understand. Uh, no, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. But you know what? Okay. That makes a lot of sense. But you do know that's Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, right? Okay. They yes. just they just saw in the Super Bowl one of the best defenses. Am I not lying about that? They saw they saw a pretty good defense in the Super Bowl. Pretty good. They was top five. What the hell? Is pretty good. They, they saw a pretty good defense in the Super Bowl. Uh, I I will say I will say this. Um, they didn't see a hundred percent healthy Nick Bosa. We all know that. They didn't. I agree with that. And he still and he still wreaked havoc havoc until the second half came and he was probably worn down. He had twelve hurries though. He had twelve QB hurries. I'm talking about in the second half. Most of that stuff came in the first half when when Patrick Mahomes was looking trizash. Yeah, you almost made my list. You almost made my list. All right, so who we going? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, Chad. Hold on, Chad. My my only rebuttal to this to to Dennis because Dennis makes Dennis makes a legit point. Uh, my only rebuttal to this is number one, my shot wasn't at y'all because Aaron Donald does come for people, right? Yes. Okay. So, but here's the thing. Look at who look at who who Kansas City lost to last year. <laughs> Tell me who Kansas City lost to last year. Uh, they lost to Tennessee, I know that. Mhm. What's what's Tennessee's strong suit? Running the ball. No, no, no. No, no, no. What what is Tennessee defense? Is defense, yeah. Okay, next team. But they also got wait, wait, they also got a good secondary. Let's get that out the way. Hold on, hold on, Devon. Are we gonna I obviously they're gonna count that loss, but isn't that the week that he just came back though too? He was still hurt a little. Come He's on, still, bro. No, no, so, I'm just saying. I'm just saying Okay, so that means that Tua doesn't have to Tua doesn't have to acknowledge the loss to LSU, right? No, no, I'm not saying what I'm not oh, they okay. lose uh, did they lose to the <laughs> I'm Bills. I'm not saying that. they beat the Bills. They beat the Bills. They beat the okay, Bills. So who else did they lose to? Keep keep scrolling. No, no, keep scrolling through because this is about to be funny. I I just I don't know right now off the top of my head. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We 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 want to we want to run down the list. Let's go. You can run down. All right. Kansas City Chiefs news scores twenty nineteen. Oh, this is this is this is beautiful. So when they played, uh, and just out of out of curiosity, when they played uh, when they played Baltimore, what happened? Uh, they barely beat Baltimore. Why? I don't know. Right now, I can't think. I know it was a barely win, though. So I think uh, people were people phone. were talking about how trash Baltimore's defense played last year, right? Okay, so let me let Baltimore me run through these losses. I didn't say they did. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out who said that. In conjunction to what you're accustomed to seeing from, yeah, they played pretty trash last year. Yeah. All right, so L number one was the injury game. Indianapolis Colts, right? Right. 13 19. L number two, Houston Texans. <laughs> Wasn't that Chase Daniels playing though? Uh, no, his, name is, uh, his name is William Moore. William Moore, yeah. L number three, the Green Bay Packers. That's when Green Bay's defense was hitting on all cylinders. And L number four, Tennessee Titans. Mm. Only thing I see that they all got in common is they got pretty good secondaries. Except from Green Bay. But I was gonna say Green Bay doesn't have a great secondary. But well, I mean they they giving the point about that. Alexander top ten C B now, so I don't know. Okay, that's a fair point. But my point about this is they squeaked out of the game against Green uh, against Minnesota, 26-23. They got a W on that, but they squeaked out of that, right? They took the L to Tennessee. They took the L to Green Bay, and they they mutilated my Bears. I'm, we're not going to talk about that. But the team you just said that you got Kansas City in that division, where they lost to the division leader that I picked, and they squeaked out of the game the, the game against one of the other teams. Uh, but and they got to play these teams six times. And I believe that Andy Reid will find out how to beat him. Okay. All right. Which All is, right, so which is the best coach in that division? Andy Reid? Is the best coach in that division. He is. Come on. Come on. He's the best coach in that division. All right. I personally feel like if you can get to the NFC Championship with Kirk Cousins, you're, in a, ma- you're a master. 
But Mike Zimmer is a NFC championship first cousin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, wait, 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 hold up. Wait a minute. He, he didn't get, get to the, the NFC championship with Kirk Cousins. The, the year, not last year, the year previous. Yes, he did. No, no he, he did not. Was it the no. second round? It was Case Keenum. Case Keenum. Oh, that's even worse. And that's what I said. No, it was Case ah. Keenum. It's even worse. <laughs> it's even worse. <laughs> it was even worse. It was Case Keenum. Let's be honest here. But um, look, let's, let's move on because we are running out of time a little bit. AFC South. Who we got with this one? Uh, AFC South. South. Current teams too, so that means Tom Brady is on Current. the Bucks. Oof, yeah, this is this this is a tough one. I'm going with I'm going with the Bucks, but if, if the Texans didn't make that move, I would have ran with the Texans. I'm going with the Saints because I think that this is a situation that Drew Brees been waiting on. Because he feel like Tom Brady them had a cakewalk through the AFC. That means you got NFC. You got in the NFC South. Does that mean you got them winning too? And yeah. I got the I got the Saints winning the AFC South. I got I got the Bucks. Okay. I'm going with the Bucks also. Um AFC West. I'm going with the um, Cowboys. Yes, and that's over my own team too, also. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I honestly think the Cowboys, you know what? No, I'm going with the Arizona Cardinals. Current teams. I think the Cardinals will be last in the division. I do too. You think they'd be last in the division? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I don't believe in Cliff Kingsbury. I don't either. I don't think they fixed their defense either. I don't think so. Yeah, I might, I might I, have to go with the Cowboys. I, I hate to say this, but I'd probably. Jesus Christ. Can I think of any reason? Uh, <laughs> you can go with the Broncos too. I mean, go ahead, Devon. You know, no, you can do that. No, I can't. I can't. They they went with that. What's the bum quarterback that. that are you talking about Drew Locke? Please don't disrespect Drew. <laughs> disrespect. You know they believe in Drew in, in Denver now. They believe Drew. They don't, don't believe disrespect Drew. Listen, if I look at John Elway the same way I look at Michael Jordan. Talent-wise, you're not a great evaluator. Don't yeah. say talent-wise. Say quarterback-wise. Well, I mean, the quarterback runs yeah. you. you. The quarterback is basically the organization. I didn't understand that. Almost, don't, don't say talent-wise. He picks over good positions. It's position. talent. That offensive line that he drafted in the first round. It's Bulls, not talent. Say it with it's not me. talent. So he picked so, one off. He picked one bad offensive lineman. He had what four of um hits. Don't right. say so, so. He picked one bad offensive lineman and, and three bad quarterbacks. Okay. So compared to having the best. Right. The, the best outside linebacker that we've seen in uh, what the last what six oh, seven did he years? Pick Von Miller? Yes, he picked Von Miller. Yes, <laughs> yes, he picked Von Miller. He picked Bradley Chubb. He picked Bradley Roby. He picked um. He picked hey, um, Chris Marshall. Harris. He picked Brandon Marshall. He I would say he picked Cortland Sutton. I mean, he picked he picks good players. He just can't pick a quarterback. Yeah, no, no, that's, uh, no. I, I like Cortland right, Sutton. I, I guess so I, I can't I'll go. Say about Cortland yeah. Sutton. yeah. I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. Ugh. I like. I like. I guess I go. Okay, okay. Just go with the cowboys. Yeah. The cowgirls. I mean. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. All right. Let's get to this next one. NFC South. NFC South. Who are we going with? This is a good one. Like we said too. No, no, no. That's not my bad. I said NFC West, but NFC South. Who are we going with on this one? Hey, that's the Titans. I'm going with the Titans. Yeah. Ugh. Is this Man. a? Is this a? This is an even year, right? It's 2020. I'm going with the Falcons. Yeah. Well, they seem to always be good on even years. Yeah, it's like they're, 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 they're up and down. But wait, um, they've been up, they've been down two seasons now, though. So I think they might be yeah, down. So they do. I, I they see do. what you're saying. 2016 is when they went they went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, and they, and they brought the they brought Bowl. the hometown hero home, Todd Gurley. So I'm going with the Falcons. So and then since they lost the Super Bowl in 2017, because it was the off year. They only lost because Ron was rooting for them. <laughs> Shout out Ron Thomas. I don't know where he is. But. Thomas, I, I just want I just want Ron Thomas to say this for me three times that uh, Jamal Adams is not coming to Philly. If you say that three times, it's guaranteed he's gonna be here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going. I'm gonna go with the. Um, I'm gonna go with the Falcons. Actually, it sucks to say because I don't like them at all. And but I think Ryan Tannehill does not repeat what he did last year. And honestly and truly, I just think they're not gonna be as good this year. I think they're they're an eight win team this year. It's not saying anything bad about them. They're right. just going to be eight yeah, one yeah, I'm going to go with the Titans. <clears throat> All right. That's good. That's a good one. All, All right. right. NFC West. I'm going with uh, the, the Seahawks. 
I bet my money on Russell. Last name Wilson. Of course you are. You said he was better than Patrick Mahomes last week. I, then I would want to stick with that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to go with the Seahawks as well. Hey, girl. How you doing? <laughs> my name is Russell. Last name Wilson. I was wondering. I'm going to win the division. <laughs> I'm going to see Ox as well. It's a sweep across the board. Um, hey, Future. How you doing? I got you. <laughs> stop. 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 Um, stop. Hey, so let me, let me, let me ask y'all this. So based on this, who, who's, who, what's the Super Bowl based on these divisions this next upcoming year? Oh, I can tell you right now. It's going to be. Uh, Why do you say the Eagles? Damn, I'm trying to say the Eagles. Anybody beating us? That's what. Except for yourselves. <laughs> you an injury-prone injury team right there, aren't you? It looked like it's going to be the Eagles and the Cowboys in the Super Bowl. This year? And out of this. Uh, Based off this scenario. This. Based off of this? How? I said out of this scenario. How? The Cowboys you, are in the AFC. I know, but you still got to go through the Chiefs. How? The Packers. Oh, we're gonna beat the Chiefs. I ain't worried about the that. Ravens. You may not. You're not even winning your own division based on I'm this. Win, I'm winning my division. I don't know why y'all keep giving oh Ravens God. so much love. You're not gonna win your division, dude. We'll see. We'll see who these new Ravens are. Because right. I've seen. It, I've seen you're these not Ravens. gonna win your division. You don't even win the. You don't even win the battle of who's more thuggish in your in your state. <laughs> we're going on to the next. Devon, hold on, Devon, my bad. Donovan, Devon, who, who do y'all have in the Super Bowl? I would have to. Oof. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say the Seahawks and the in the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I'm gonna say the Seahawks and the Saints. R- Ramona said the Steelers and the Cowboys. She's she, she's living. She's still living in the seventies. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> that was Ramona, actually pretty funny. Ramona is, Ramona's probably looking at that replay of Franco's said, helmet Ramona coming off said, right she now. Said, <laughs> she said, "Name but one, hey. one team in Pennsylvania, and it's the Eagles." Ramona. <laughs> I'm um. So let me make my pick. I'm going with um. I'm going with the Chiefs and the Cowboys. That's Yo, I'll favorite. never forget the day that Ramona said Ben Roethlisberger would not have to. To get that, <laughs> Yo, I almost died. <laughs> we go to the next topic. Like I said, we had a topic for you. Oh, this is not the. This is the Devon. Oh, the Devon. This is the Devon topic. This is the Devon, Devon topic. Here we go, La- ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a segment of TODT. Uh, Here we go. <laughs> oh, we're gonna let you start it off because you always let said you that Mitch is better. So we're gonna let you start it off. Why? It's the state your case why Mitch is better. The stats are there. You're looking at him. I don't have to say anything. It's clear. <laughs> Look at it. I'm Look like at it. I'm he's like had the- one. He's had one more game, and and he's been healthier. But clearly, Trubisky <laughs> reigns supreme in every on, statistical on, category hold on, hold on, that hold on. is necessary. Hold on, hold on. Do you think this is totally fair? Because they're. I mean, once again, he's a quarterback, but they're not including his rushing stats either. I think that's something that you have to include. Yo, you do you're, it, yo I think I, it's, I'm it's, fine. I'm, I'm fine including. Listen, I would be cool including rushing stats if and only if those rushing stats la- led to led to you having either more wins or going further in the playoffs. The last time I checked, they have been to the exact same places. The only thing that hasn't happened between that has happened for one and not the other, one of these quarterbacks was a Pro Bowl quarterback. Yeah, I'm gonna let you guess who. That was Mitchell Trubisky. I got. Oh, oh, really? Trubisky. Wait, 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 hold up. (laughs) Something else Mitchell Trubisky did. Do you know he thrown six touchdowns in one game? Yes, I do know that. <laughs> did you see what he did to the Redskins? Oh, never mind. You know what? I'm, you know, I thought that was against the Bucks. No, no, no I'm, I'm, I'm talking about last year. Did you see what he did to the Redskins last year? But yeah, I'm, 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 I'm good on it. Listen, before the shoulder injury, Mitchell Trubisky had had very, very few doubters in terms of talent. They still thought he made bad decisions, but in terms of his talent, before the shoulder injury, they were like, "Yo, this guy could evolve." Ever since the shoulder injury, just like Trent Edwards in Buffalo, things have begun to plummet. 
So I will say that if he does not perform, it will be as a result of the, the mental anguish and the physicality that he that he has not been able to overcome. But uh, let me can I just say this though? Yeah. Uh we all know that Lil Kim gonna take his job. So he's not. I'm telling you, he's not. I'm telling you, he's I not think gonna take his job. Great, I think Mitch Trubisky has a good year this year. Let me be quite honest. I, I think Mitchell Trubisky has a awesome year this year, which is which is contrary to what I actually want. Everybody you want, knows. You want Trevor Everybody knows who I want. You want Trevor? I want Trevor. I mean, the way y'all drafted, y'all kind of looked like y'all was trying to do <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Y'all trying to get Trevor on purpose. Y'all wasn't <laughs> trying to help my man know that at all. At all. They ain't trying to help him. At, he is, you know, I would be <laughs> trade bait. Trade bait. I be trying to I will be trying to send him. Matter of fact, I be trying to send him to Buffalo right now. <laughs> like y'all need two of these. <laughs> oh. I'd run the season with Nick Foles, and and then I'd make Nick Foles plummet and lose every game, and then we'd be right there. First of all, you, you must all know who Lil Kim is. Only he's a good, he's I, a good postseason quarterback. Ain't no good work. No, listen, only yeah, little, you got to make it to Kim. the postseason. Yeah, I mean, he, <laughs> no, he no, might, no, this is a, this is the thing about Lil Kim. He cannot start the season on. Exactly. That's why I said I would trade Trubisky right now to Buffalo. Be like, yo, y'all got two of these. Give us Jake Fromm so he so we can put him into the city of Chicago and he not make it out because of his racist comments. And then uh, uh, welcome back. And, <laughs> and then in trouble, man. Dang. No, um, Donovan, you have, is anybody gonna make a case for Josh Allen? I'm not. Sorry. Okay, so let me let me ask this question. If they both was on the board and you needed a quarterback, who you picking? Depends. He done froze. He done froze up. Um, For me? Yeah, you done yeah. froze. Oh, your camera done froze. Uh, my, my camera froze up on you? Yeah. yeah. You sitting there smiling like a motherfucker, like you the joker. <laughs> oh, my bad. All right. I'm going back and forth. Ugh, ugh, ugh. But y'all can't see it. I know. We got you now. <laughs> but then you oh. froze again. Oh, even better. Um, it depends on what the personnel is, man. I would go with uh, if I had the if I had uh big wide receivers that that were speedy, I'd go with Josh Allen because I know he could I, I know he could uh he can run us into the into the playoffs. If I had to have a quarterback that I know can be accurate most of the time, I'm going with Trubisky. Josh Allen ain't gonna hit us down his speedy wide receivers either. Though we saw what he did with John Brown overthrowing every pass. Yeah, but, but John Brown like, and Stephen Diggs two different people. They are. I'm not saying they aren't, but we don't know what he's gonna do with Stefan Diggs yet. We truly don't. Yeah, yeah. I, I um I don't want a quarterback that I have to make the reads for him. I think that I think that without I think that Trubisky can make the reads. I just think that he makes bad decisions at times. So I just think if you took if if you given Trubisky four options in four options in a play, just reduce it to three and you'll you'll probably have a much better output from him. For sure. I agree. I'm not making a case for Josh Allen. I, I, I mean, I would. I wish, but I'm not. Um, let's move on to the next topic because we probably got two more topics in us before we got to end because Monday Night Madness is about to get Come on. I do want to do one more trivia since no one can get the questions right. We got to pick two hard questions. But Devon did look like a Chester Cat, Ramona. You're right about that. He did like a Chester Cat. Hey. <laughs> hey, top, top I was going back and forth because I was like, dodge them questions. Dodge them. Dodge them. Dodge them. <laughs> These are the top trios in the league, according to um, NFL Combo. And that's the name of the site. Um, this is the top three. I mean, this is the top trios as they have it. They have one is Mahomes with the Chiefs, Saints, Cowboys, Seahawks, Ravens, Falcons, ugh, Green Bay, um, the Eagles. Why he got this suit on? Um, Vaughn, <laughs> the Bucks, and then the Steelers. Why did they put this man in his jersey? <laughs> um. In all honesty, uh, the Dallas Cowboys got the best trail. I'm moving the I'm moving the Saints down. I'm gonna keep saying this every single show. Moving the Saints down every single show. Um, hey, I'm dude. tired. Of, I'm tired of them putting them up like a number two. But um, I can agree with that. I, I oh, guess so the these are these are ranked one through ten. One through ten. Okay, I don't see the numbers next. Yeah, time. I don't see the numbers either. So we got to rank them ourselves. I mean, it was supposed to be ranked. Now. I think they ranked them there. It's just on the left to right, one through ten, from Chiefs all the way down. All right. This is this is Tom Foolery. I know that's right. 
Yes, of course, but that's the best thing. Okay, so who you got? And then we go one. We go one. Through. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna try to. Okay. I mean, my. I mean, one through ten is. It's relatively easy if we if we keep it. In okay. Up. So say yours, and we'll we'll see if we agree. We'll change it. And say yours. All right, so number one for me would easily be uh, Dak Prescott. I mean, I'm sorry, Mahomes and uh, Mahomes, Hilaire, and Ty- Tyreek Hill. Number two would be Dak Prescott, uh, Zeke, and Cooper. Number three would probably be uh, Lamar. Yeah, Lamar and company. Number four would be uh, Roethlisberger, Connor, and, and Juju. Number five would be Breeze, Kamara, and Thomas. Hmm. Yeah, because come on, because we don't know if Kamara's gonna be there. I mean, but you, I mean, I have number him down lower. Okay, number six would be Russell Wilson. Number seven would be Carson Wentz. Number eight would be Tom Brady, and last but not least, um, I'll go with Matt Ryan and the bums. You where didn't. Did Where'd you put you Green didn't, Bay? Wait, 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 wait. Huh? You didn't put Where'd the Packers. Put yeah. I thought I did. No, you didn't oh, play for that. That's what I wanted to add. Hold on. Let, let me mark. I'm sorry. My, my bad. If I didn't, let me mark it down. Let me, let me do Let me do it like I used to do it back in the day when I was. Re- well, I can't say that on the air. Yes, when you was, uh, when you was a little crazy. Yeah, when I was, when I was losing my cotton picking. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he is, he is something else, man. I think I said Drew Brees twice. You did. That's what I, the second time that I said it, it was meant to be Aaron Rodgers and company. Okay, so the only thing I'm gonna change, I don't for, like well, ones. I'm changing. I'm the, the the Saints are going down a little bit further. I'm putting in place in place of where you put Aaron Rodgers and them. I'm putting I'm putting them in front of the Saints. I mean, I'm just I, I mean, obviously, I trust Michael Thomas. Obviously, we know this. We know what Michael Thomas does. We know what Drew Brees does to an extent. To an extent. Um, but I do think Aaron Jones is the better running back between him and Kamara because Kamara is never, um, never healthy, like ever, like he ever, said, like ever. <laughs> like I, I just, I, I mean, I just got to make sure we know he's never healthy. So that just that automatically makes me feel like that trio isn't even existed. Like it, just, it can't be existed until he's actually healthy. Well, um, if, if you, you could say the same thing about Carson Wentz too, right? With the Eagles, right? I mean, if you want to talk about yeah. health, yeah, you could. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Um, Donna, Dennis, what would you change, Donna? Did you change anything? I, I listen, this is the change that I'm making. All right, I'm I'm going the Cowboys one. Um, after that, I'm going with Green Bay two. I'm going Kansas City three. Um, I'm going Lamar Jackson and the company four. I'm going. I'm going Saints five. Russell Wilson six. Matt Ryan seven. Um wait, wait, so wait a minute. Let me just question this. So you had you had Russell Wilson over Patrick Mahomes, but yet you like Lamar Jackson's trio better than Russell Wilson's. Yeah, Lamar Jackson's trio two for 36 touchdowns. He led the league in touchdowns. Okay. So yeah, you man, kill you know, me sometimes. You truly kill me sometimes. Only reason why I pushed him down because of Carson. Carson uh, is another motherfucker that don't stay in, don't stay healthy all the time. Another what? Another what? Another mother mother that don't stay healthy all nah, the time. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me read this off again for you, for you, Chad, just to make sure we're clear. Patrick Mahomes, yeah, and company. Dak and company. Lamar and company. Aaron Rodgers and company. <clears throat> Russell Wilson, <clears throat> Drew Brees, Ben Roethlisberger, Carson Wentz, Tom Brady, and then Matt Ryan. The Eagles are not the only one on here with a tight end. Obviously, not, you, don't, this obviously you don't see Andrews on here. But yeah, I'm about to say the Ravens got a tight end, too. If you look. Harry, we know you're going to be watching everything. All right. <laughs> so, look, we got to look, look, get ready to end this show. Yeah. Um, I got one I more time. I, it, I, I do find it. Kind of ironic that they didn't put Kelsey up there with Kansas City instead of Tyreek. I do find that kind of ironic. <laughs> I, do. I do find it. I agree with you on that one because that's um that's different. That, that is different because Kelsey is for sure. I mean, Tyreek is the, is the freak on that team, but Kelsey is the anchor of that of that offense. Let's be let's be clear. 
He is for sure. I, I actually, now that you mention that, that is kind of. Um, I also. Would I would have. I would have sooner put. Patrick Mahomes, Tyreek Hill, and Travis Kelsey as the three because Tyreek does sit in the backfield at times. I also so does Kelsey. Kelsey's in the so does Kelsey. That is correct. So you could have you could have really manipulated that list to make it to make it freakishly number one. Yeah, if you if you put them in that list, it's it's no question who the number who the number one trio is. No, I I agree with that. It's all right, Yuri. I I had to mess with you. You still need a cold glass of water though. Hold on. So I'm about to do this last. Like I said, we're doing one more time. He needs to protect his tight end. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, 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 boy. Inspect the deck. (laughs) Protect your neck. Protect your neck. We got got one more. um, We got one more um, giveaway that I'm going to do. I'm about to get you put it back up there. Hopefully somebody gets this one. Y'all disappoint me, little kid. Let me be honest with y'all, but we're gonna hopefully we're gonna hope somebody get it. So the next question that was up there too, I'll tell y'all, it was a star bench cut while we waiting. Um, star bench cut between it was Derrick Henry, Zeke, and Nick Chubb. Star bench cut. Y'all talk about that while I get this last thing up. Oh, what if that's not what we want to talk about? Man, I'm cutting, De- I'm cutting Derrick Henry. What? I can't even see it. Where's the? Um... No, it's, it's not up there. Oh. I'm cutting oh. Derrick Henry. I'm cutting Dennis Holmes. And I'm and I'm starting Ezekiel Elliott. And I'm starting. Uh, I'm starting. No, I'm not starting Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> so why would you cut me? Because you've got cheese, and the cheese is meant to be cut. Okay, there we go. Start bench cut. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna cut. Ooh. Never. Hurry, hurry, do this so we can get those last two things in. So All go right. ahead. I'm, I'm cutting. Uh, I I'm gonna cut a little bit of time. I'm gonna cut Henry. You cutting Henry? Oh, I ain't the only one. Oh. Devon, are you cutting Henry too? Devon's still frozen. No, I was. No, I was on the phone. My bad. Uh, no, literally, you, they both cut Henry. So, are you cutting Henry too? Am I just the odd man out here and have him benched? Because nah, I got starting Zeke and no, I got no, 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 no. Henry. I'm, I'm Ramona's cutting, cutting Zeke. I am, no, I'm starting. I'm starting Zeke. I'm cutting Nick Chubb and I'm yeah, benching. Thank Dan. you. <laughs> there's no way I'm cutting. There's no way I'm cutting a guy who's durable. Forget I'm cutting, the, I'm cutting the guy who's injury prone, and that's forget the normalness of it. He just took DJ, his team to the NFC, I mean, to the AFC Championship. Are we just forgetting that? I understand what, said, what have you done for me in the league, but talent wise, these guys are both are all freakish. So I'm, I'm just going who's going to be available at all costs and availability. Well, there's by somebody, there's the somebody on this panel that believes that uh, Joe Mixon is better than uh, Nick Chubb. I'll raise my hand to that. I mean, it's not a, it's not a, let's be honest here. Dennis is not absurd. Here's the only reason why it's not absurd. Let's be honest. Is Who, you from what Cincinnati? What, what, no, no, no. What, I mean, I am from Cincinnati. I love okay, my city. Okay, so let's say hold that's on, a homer pitch. Hold on. Hold on, though. Homer let's, pitch. let's, but I'm not a Cincinnati Bengals fan, but let's be clear, you're though. Biggest, you're the biggest non Cincinnati Bengals fan I've met in my life. Okay, but let's be clear, though. Let's be clear on this. Let's be clear on this. What is, Joe Mixon working at with over there on his offensive line compared to what Nick Chubb's working with. Let's be honest here. What are they working they with? The same offensive no, they don't. line. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they, they don't. Do. No, they don't. The Browns is missing a left tackle. The, the, the Bengals are missing everything. Literally, the Browns, everything. Just, the Browns just bored him offensive line. But if we, we going off last year, Browns productivity. were missing literally a left tackle, and that's all. Oh. Literally. Literally, so literally. If they're only missing, a, if they were only missing the left tackle, how do you explain the trash season that they had last year? Coach, the fact that Baker Mayfield probably oh, isn't. So you're saying that the, that it was extremely oh, no. hot wait, in the wait. kitchen? Wait, wait. <laughs> yes, extremely oh, no. hot in the kitchen. Wait, wait. The coach wasn't good. We all know that. The fact that Baker Mayfield probably isn't that great as everybody thinks he is, because especially with all that talent, you know. He probably isn't as great as everybody thinks he is. You know, that's one thing to think oh, about. Boy, their best defensive player got injured. I mean, their best, their best defensive player got suspended. Let's remember that, too. Yeah. 
I mean, he hit somebody with a helmet. He was trying to kill somebody, basically, you know. <laughs> he was not trying to kill that guy. I'm playing around, man. It's a Come joke. On. It's, I'm playing around. It's a joke. I didn't think he was. He hit him he with a trying helmet. to tell that he's trying to tell Mason Rudolph that black lives matter. <laughs> we moving on to the next topic because we got a great hit. <laughs> Why do y'all always do that? I'm, I'm real quick, real quick. To a TOD team moment, and we don't be ready for it. Come real quick, out. last giveaway, last giveaway, real quick. Who stats are these? Name that player. Ten dollars. Give me a cash up if you get it right. Name that player. Nobody on the panel answer. Thank Ramona you. should get this right. She should get it right. It's as clear as day who it is. It is very clear, actually. That's why I said. Maybe I'm Bell. <laughs> I'm out, beloved. <laughs> Can I have some? No, you can I have some money, Chadwick. No, no, man. Come on, who you, who you, you know this player? I want somebody to answer, please. Name the player, please. I, was I wrong? No, BJ, it's not uh, Le'Veon. I know who it is. I'm just saying. No, you know, BJ said Le'Veon. It's not Le'Veon. No, it's BJ. not Le'Veon. You idiots! It's, look, 2004. People, come on now, wake up. Ramona got it right. Yeah, Ramona, you got it right. Ramona, send me a cash app, and I'll, I'll send it. I'll send you $10. Uh, we want to thank everyone for tuning in. Yeah, no. Ain't nobody else wearing number 39. Nah, no one. No one else. <laughs> Willie. Willie B. Fast as Willie Parker. Fast, fast, Willie Parker. Willie. Get over here, Willie. With that being said, we appreciate everyone tuning hey, in. What happened to Willie Parker, though? Why, he got why, bad. Y'all, why y'all think he got he dropped off so bad? Same thing happened to all them uh, Pittsburgh still running backs. Okay, okay, say say less. That's, that's what I was looking for. Um, because I, 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 I was just the only one that hey, passed the, that pass, uh, test of time was Jerome Bettis. Hold on, let me, let me Jerome Bettis passed the test of time. Yeah, he played one for me. So he figure out, Ramon. I'll, 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 okay, I'll find some way to pay you that ten. I think we got Facebook pay too, so I got you. Yeah, just pay um, it to the pay it to the group chat. Yeah, we can we can we can pay you through. I'll pay you through the the Facebook thing. Does With that care about said, Barry though, Foster or or uh, or uh, what's his name? That uh, Reno Mahe. He ran his he ran his wheels off. Y'all heard her. With that yeah, being said, though, let me end the show. Let me end the show real quick. Well, With that being said, number thirty four. What was his name? Hey, hold on. Let me end the show so we can get money back now. Let's go. Hold on. With that being said, thank you for tuning in. Tune in to Monday Night Madness. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate everybody that's tuned in. We appreciate all my co-hosts, um, Devon, Dennis, Donovan. Thanks for tuning in. I mean, thanks for joining. Love you guys. Triple D in the building. All right.